discussing InDesign and we're going to talk about master pages in InDesign. So essentially a master page is a template or a layout that you would have saved as part of a document. And it can be used for a wide range of things, um, the most common of which would be something like setting up a header and footer. So there is no header and footer option in InDesign. I get this asked quite a bit uh, because people are coming over from Word and we're familiar with headers and footers in Word and we come to InDesign and we expect there to be an option called headers and footers and there isn't. Well, <clears throat> what we have instead is we have layouts or master pages. And so I have a really basic document laid out here. I have a six page document. There are facing pages. So you can see page one is my cover page and then I have a two page spread for the following two layouts and then the back cover as well. And I found this by going to the pages panel along the side. Now if you want to locate that you can go to your window menu and you can choose pages and that's going to activate the pages panel. If you have it on your screen already well you can simply click the pages link and it's going to pop up. Now there are kind of two main parts to the pages panel. You have um, the bottom lower portion uh, which displays the actual pages of your document and then this top portion here actually displays master pages and you can adjust this by simply clicking and holding on this dividing line I can see more master pages less of my document pages or vice versa so right now in this document we can see that I have two masters I have a master called none and I have one called a master what we can also see in the document is that every single page is based on my a master right now and that's indicated by the master page prefix here in the top corner of all my pages so here's what this means and here's how we can use masters to our advantage if I actually go to a master page and to do that I'm gonna double click right here on this default called a master and it takes me to that page and it's a facing page layout so I have a left and a right hand page and if I made an adjustment to it let's just I'm just gonna call it layout a so I'm gonna create a text box Okay, so what I have here is I have um, the two facing pages and what I've done on the A master is I've put the word layout A on one side and layout A on the other. Now in reality what we'd want to do here is we'd want to set up whatever type of layout we'd want to be used on pages that are based on the A master. So I mean we could do things like uh, changing the number of columns if we wanted to. Okay, you can see it changes on the master page and the key here as well is that it's also changed on your document pages. Any pages that were based on that master have seen this change applied to them. You can see the columns get applied, and I'm on page two and three in this case, or four and five. Also, that text that I put there is being displayed. You can't actually click on it right now. We'll talk about that in another video. But basically, any master or any change you make to the master is going to apply to any pages based on that master. Now, this would be a great way to set up a header and footer. As you can see on, let's say, on, on the A master, if I were to set up a header and footer in my top, my bottom margins, page numbers, all this type of stuff, we'll talk about that in another video, it would then apply to every single page in my document by default. This, of course, brings up the question, well, what if I wanted additional layouts in my InDesign document? Well, that would require us to make additional master pages. And we can do this quite simply. Over on the Pages panel, if I click the Panel Options button, that's this button here, it's kind of hidden. Every panel has one of these, by the way, and, and there's a lot of options in them. So when you're on the Color uh, panel, it has a Panel Options button. In any case, the Pages panel, when it's activated, you click the Panel Options button, and you have something here called New Master. Well, if I choose that, it pops up the New Master dialog box. I can choose a prefix. I can give it a name. I can even base it on another master so I can have layouts based on layouts. Really powerful feature here. We're not going to talk about that right now though. Uh, the number of pages you'd want for your master and of course the paper size as well as the ability to set a custom uh, paper size. So once I click OK, a secondary master gets created. So let's just say as an example, I'm going to save myself some time here. I'm just going to copy this text box. Let's say this was layout B instead of layout A. Okay, so we put that on both pages, layout B. And you'll notice if I go to any pages in my actual document, well, they all still say layout A. And that's because they're all based on the A master. So what becomes important now is the ability to actually apply a master to different pages as I choose. 
So for example, let's say page one, I wanted to be based on my, um, my B master page. Well, what we can do is in this top half of the pages panel, we can actually click and hold where it says B master. And I'm just gonna drag it over top of the page I'd like it to apply to. Now, I'm looking at the current page in my document here, so as soon as I let go of my mouse, you can see that layout changes. It's no longer two columns, and it's applied, in this case, layout B. I can go to my back cover. We can apply it there as well. I'm gonna do another video here. I'm gonna give you a little card to link to it that shows you a little bit faster way to apply different masters, uh, because if we have larger document, it can be important to use alternative methods to apply them. But essentially, that's what a master page is. It allows you to create layouts within a document that you can apply to whatever pages in the document you choose. It's a great way to set up headers and footers, great way to set up page numbering, uh, cover pages, back covers, these types of things. So be sure to check out the other videos where we dive a little bit deeper into master pages, but hopefully that gives you some base knowledge to go into InDesign now and be comfortable enough to know what a master page is and how you can use them.